first off, there is this incredible, really incredible compilation video of Democrats over the past couple years complaining about uh, voter hacking and voting machines not working and election integrity problems and all that sort of stuff. Of course, it's all pre this election. Now we're not allowed to talk about that. We got a whole bunch of Democrats circa 2018 basically saying everything about voter fraud and voter machines and error and manipulation and everything else, pretty much everything that Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, you know, Mr. Pillow, he's always hugging a pillow, loves Donald Trump, pretty much everything he's been saying about this past election, well, that's pretty much what they were all saying when it came to talking about what might have happened in 2016 and what they're gonna have to do going forward. Take a look-see. I continue to think that our voting machines are too vulnerable. Our researchers have repeatedly de demonstrated that ballot recording machines and other voting systems are susceptible to tempering. Even hackers with limited prior knowledge, tools, and resources are able to breach voting machines in a matter of minutes. In 2018, electronic voting machines in Georgia and Texas deleted votes for certain candidates or switched votes from one candidate to another. The biggest seller of voting machines is doing something that violates Cybersecurity 101, directing that you install remote access software, which would make a machine like that, you know, a magnet for fraudsters and hackers. These voting machines can be hacked quite easily. You could easily hack into them. It makes it seem like all these states are doing different things, but in fact, three companies are controlling this. It is the individual voting machines that some pose, that pose some of the greatest risk. There are a lot of states that are dealing with antiquated machines right, which are vulnerable to being hacked. Workers were able to easily hack into an electronic voting machine. It was possible to switch votes. 43% of American voters use voting machines that researchers have found have serious security flaws, including back doors. We know how vulnerable now our systems were. We know, I know that hackathon that took place last year where virtually every machine was broken into fairly quickly. I actually held a demonstration for my colleagues here at the Capitol um, where we brought in um, folks who before our eyes hacked election machines. Um, those that are not, those that are being used in many states. Aging systems also frequently rely on unsupported software like Windows XP in 2000, which may not receive regular security patches and are thus more vulnerable to the latest methods of cyber attack. In a close presidential election, they just need to hack one swing state, or maybe one or two, or maybe just a few counties in one swing state. I'm very concerned that you could have a hack that finally went through. Oh, mama mia. All right, so just to be clear, if you were to say any of the things that all of those Democrats, and those are not random Democrats, right? Like this video is not of just like Democrats you ain't never heard of. This, dem this video is of Ted Lieu. This video is Amy Klobuchar. This video is Kamala Harris. Like these are mainstream Democrats, okay? People that are, they're good people. They're better people than we are, right? Because I know you're a right wing maniac just like I am. Uh, if you were to say any of the things that they were saying back in 2018 or basically before the 2020 election, if I was to say any of those things right now related to the 2020 election, my channel would be deleted. Like we'd get a strike, we'd get a second strike and strike, and we'd just be blown away. But not only that, if you were to say any of those things in your circles, in your social circles, I wonder what your friends would say. They would say you're a conspiracy theorist, you've been watching too much Alex Jones or something like that. And that's why this is all deeply dangerous. The very same things that people were saying over the last couple months, like, oh, could things have been hacked into? Maybe you wouldn't need widespread fraud, you'd just need it in select places, which is what Ted Lou said there. Uh, that you'd be able to switch votes, that that could be done. There are back doors to get into the voting machines. They can be easily hacked. That was Ted Lou and Amy Klobuchar said that. We have aging systems. Uh, Kamala, they're vulnerable to a attack. She even had a bunch of people in a room and they had hackers do it right in front of them. Anyway. I'm not saying that this last election was hacked. I'm just saying we should be allowed to talk about all of these things. And when Democrats are on the outs, meaning we have a Republican administration, we had Orange Man for those four years, they were allowed to say everything they wanted to say to make it seem like either the, eject, the election was illegitimate or if he was to be reelected, that that election would be Ill illegitimate or hacked or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, now, if we're to say anything, 
you, you would be kicked out of your country club and potentially kicked out of YouTube. So do with that what you will. I just thought it was important to play. It's like, there's, there's something there. Like, so I just wanna know, like, have you guys fixed all that stuff? Because I know that there's a bunch of Republican bills in a bunch of uh, states right now that are trying to fix some of these vulnerabilities. Uh, as you guys know, we talked about the Texas bill last week and they want things like paper trails so that if a machine was hacked, there would actually, it wouldn't all be digital, there would actually be paper, literal paper trail is what it's called. There would be a, a long readout, like an actual paper receipt of what happened but they don't seem to want that. And they don't seem to want cameras in the rooms where people will be doing the double counting. And they don't seem to want signature verification to confirm that the person who voted is actually who they say they are. So, you know, call me a crazy nutbag conspiracy theorist, but do these people want free and fair elections or do they just want to win elections? Which one do you think it is? And as I try to say in all of these things, that doesn't make the Republicans perfect or great or right, but they're better than those people. And I'm not a uh, Republican pollster or on the dole of the Republicans, but if you want a slogan, Republicans, if the Republican leadership, if you're watching this show, all you need to do, Republicans 2024, we're not those guys. And that's what would be the winning ticket. Like these people are all crazy. They're all crazy because they say things and then when they get the power that they have, they reverse everything that they're saying.